Hello, my name is Rene Winkelmeyer. I'm a principal developer evangelist with Salesforce. And today we're going to talk about how you can set up unit testing for your Lightning Web Components projects. Lightning Web Components can be tested using the LWC Jest testing tool, which is an extension for testing Lightning Web Components using the Jest testing framework. As a precondition, you will need Node.js and the Node Packaging Manager npm installed. The LWC Jest documentation will lead you through the process how to set up those tools. If you have a new project that doesn't contain a package JSON file yet, you first init the package JSON file with the npm init command. This will guide you through a small setup process where you can specify things as the name of the project, your GitHub repository, and so forth. The second step is then to install the LWC Jest testing tool. You run the npm install at salesforce slash LWC Jest install command for that. This process may take a few minutes and please check out the documentation as it may contain specifics for your operating system. Once you run the installation, you will have a package JSON which will look like that. The scripts section can be used to add custom commands for your NPM environment to execute the LWC JS extension. Here, in this very first basic example, you see that we added a test colon unit command to run then LWC JEST. This means that I can then invoke the testing command with NPM run test colon unit from within the root folder of my Salesforce DX project. Now let's look at a more mature example, which we have in the LWC recipes sample application. As you can see here, we have added four distinct commands that execute, for example, LWC JEST in debug mode, so that you can debug your JEST tests, or we're fetching code coverage for all our unit tests. The GitHub readme of the LWC JEST extension provides more documentation around what commands the extension provides, as well as how you can invoke standard JEST commands also from LWC JEST. If you wanted to use third-party tooling, for example, extensions for VS Code that leverage the LWC JEST tool extension, you have to add a JEST config JS file to the root of your project. This can look like this file, which is also provided in the LWC JEST GitHub readme as an example. With this configuration file, any extensions for Jest that you install within VS Code will automatically fetch the configuration of LWC Jest. This is a mandatory step for all third-party add-ons that you want to use. The LWC recipe sample application contains a more mature example that also adds additional configuration options, which are standard Jest functionality. Please see all the related tests in the LWC recipes application on how and why to use them. When you start adding tests to your project, please make also sure that your force ignore file excludes with this global matching pattern any test folders. Otherwise, any interaction with an org, for example, a force source push, will fail as the Salesforce CLI will try to deploy test files to your org. Now let's look at the very first basic test. Hello test. Every test that you add to your project is represented as a subfolder for your Lightning Web Component. Here we have our Hello Lightning Web Component, a subfolder underscore underscore tests underscore underscore. And within that folder, you place the test file of your Jest test. We recommend the naming convention, name of your Lightning Web Component, period test, period JS. The Jest test contains a few very basic elements. First, you import create element from the LWC engine. Create element is a test only API, which is only available in test cases. The second step is that you import your Lightning Web component. In our case, it's the Hello Lightning Web component. Secondly, you add the test suite for your test test. The test suite rep is represented with this describe block over here. And we recommend that you put in the name of your Lightning Web component in here. The minimum second step is then that you add a test to your jest test. This is represented with this it block below here. 
the describe and an it block should together describe how your test should be executed. It should read like, in this case, see hello, displays greeting. When we look at a more complex test, it should also read like see event data, get contact list wire data, renders two contact list item elements, or see event with data, show selected contact data after event. With a more detailed description, it will be easier for you to focus on which test you actually want to write, as well as for other readers of your test, what you want to achieve with your test. Now let's go back to the hello test, test test. In this test case, we have a few steps. First, we're defining the element, which is your Lightning Web component. You define the name c-hello, and you pass as the is parameter the imported Lightning Web component, as you see in line two. The next mandatory step is to run document body append child for your Lightning Web component. This will attach the Lightning Web component to the DOM of your test environment, and it will also render the Lightning Web component, which means for lifecycle, also a connected callback as well as rendered callback are already executed. For this component, we see that the diff tag should contain a hello comma, then the value of the greeting property period value as text content. And the property is initialized with world. So for our test, we are first querying the diff using element period shadow root period query selector. And then we are running an assert if the text content of that diff equals hello world. The LWC recipe sample application contains more than 100 tests for all different recipes that showcase you how you can interact with the different parts of the user interface, as well as how to run different assertions based on test data and test scenarios that you want to put under test. The LWC Jest repository on GitHub provides you plenty of information on how to use this tool, as well on the different options that are available, like for example, how you can add scripts, how you update your force ignore, or what parameters are available. So what did we learn? LWC Jest is based on the Jest testing framework, which allows you to leverage plenty of documentation which is available on the web. When you start writing your tests, use the describe and the add block to specify your test use cases so that everyone who is going to read your test knows what you want to test. This also helps you to focus on actual testing functionality. When you test your component, please focus on the component under test and not the functionality of your child components. The LWC recipe sample application contains plenty of examples on how you can test all the different scenarios that may happen when you write your own Lightning Web components. If you want to learn more, we have a trail mix for you. On sforce.co slash LWC, we link to plenty of resources like blogs, videos, as well as documentation to get started with Lightning Web components and more. Thank you very much for listening and have a good day.